Good morning, guys. Daily dose of Dragon Drive. Hey, I need a favor. <clears throat> I need to know if the audio is better than yesterday. Guys, I went back and was re-listening to yesterday's audio, and I apologize. It was absolute junk. What had what happened? What had happened was the somehow the microphone got switched to the webcam that I use. And of course, that's not designed for what we want this buttery, smooth voice to sound like. So I apologize about that. So let me know if it does sound better. I want to say good morning. This is the Daily Dose of Dragon Drive, number 47 or 8 or something like that. I don't know. I don't even have a notes up. Let's see. Uh, number 47. Um, Ronnie, Stefan, thank you so much. Dude, I, I love the... Uh, I love that everybody jumps in here early, gets to this stuff. I hope that you guys are building a habit like I am at 735 every morning. I just pack up my computer and I come out to the shop to do the uh, to come from the podcast room for the daily dose of drag and drop. All right, let's get to it. We have a ton of stuff to cover today. If you were watching yesterday, we talked about Dennis Taylor's trailer. Dennis and Alex Taylor's trailer. The Taylor trailer is what I'm going to call it. Um, so, you know, we were talking about maybe doing some bragging rights or some decals or something like that to whoever guessed to the closest weight. I messaged him, said, hey, what do you, you know, what, what does it weigh? Can you tell us? Can you give us some insight? Things like that. Uh, his literal, literal reply was, I don't know. Uh, I can tell you it's lighter than before. Even though it looks like a lot of tools, it's about half of what we used to carry. Y'all, that's crazy. There's some cool stuff. I'm going to show you another picture here in a minute, too, that nobody's seen yet. He said, it's all about organization. The doors are 100% aluminum. The main added weight that I don't like is the brakes and dropped axle ends. Uh, thank you to Dennis for sending that, for uh, giving us some <laughs> to giving us some insight there. I'm going to pull those pictures up real quick. Um, it's pretty cool that, you know, we're kind of getting a little bit of reach that we could reach out to someone like the Taylors and, you know, get some, get some insight into things like that. So let me pull this picture up here. I want to show you guys again, he sent me this and I don't know if he's posted it or not. Where the heck is it? Um, dang it. Come on. Where is it? Well, we're going to have to jump onto the, to here, to the gas chamber Nova for a second. We'll cover that in a minute. You guys are going to get a sneak peek at all the people I message. But this is the picture that he hasn't shown yet. I'm sure he's going to post it today. This is the other side of the trailer. Again, um, they have all the tools and everything hung on the other side. I don't know why it doesn't allow me to show this other picture yet. Hang on. Let me see if I can find it. Sorry, because it's really cool. I don't want you guys to miss out. Why does it not have the picture on there? Well, anyways, you saw that picture. Uh, it's pretty awesome to uh, to have that. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Travis Wise, I'm throwing together a trailer today. Yeah, dude. I mean, we bought a $150 trailer last year to use, and uh, it worked great. I loved it. I obviously always will suggest people to use a trailer just because it's so much easier when you pull into the track, especially if you are late in the day, you can just wheel up, unhook, uh, swap tires and go. So uh, the next topic, guys, I'm excited. We, you saw the gas chamber Nova. Let's talk about that for a second. Let me get that pulled back up here. All right, let's close out of Dennis Taylor's stuff here. Gas Chamber Nova. Guys, this is our buddy Jonathan Stonecipher. You know you've heard me talk about him quite a bit, how he's going to be on the ground at uh, Rocky Mountain Race Week. He is our eyes, plus Jesse at 3G Video. Please go like the Gas Chamber Nova Facebook page right now. He will be doing a lot of live streaming. Jonathan is absolutely hilarious. I love him. Uh, he's the reason, again, I said all the time, he's the reason I'm into drag and drive stuff. He did it for a long time and pushed me to start. And obviously you guys know it changed my life. So go follow the gas chamber Nova for tons of content. I'm sure he's going to be posting pictures. And he said, he stopped by the house last night. He said he will be going live quite a bit throughout the week. Um, he will not be in this. He is in Boo Quamso's uh, Cobra 
but it's a, it's a Cobra, but it's a huge, a big turbo, big inch LS set up in, uh, in Rowdy Radio class, which is the eighth mile class, which is going to destroy the eighth mile list for 2022. I'm so excited to see that. You can see I'm moving around. I'm jumpy about it. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. The Nova, I will tell you, is, uh, is coming back next year and is going to be nasty, 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 nasty. So anyways, Jonathan hasn't put a ton of pictures up. He's actually just started this page for uh, Rocky Mountain Race Week. So that is that one. Let's jump in here. What do we got next? Let's see. Here we go. We got, oh, the Meltdown Firebird. All right, guys, listen to me here. I want to tell you this. Jason Hurley is freaking awesome. Let me get this other one pulled up here. Turn this chat stuff off because this is another page. If you're not following, I've been posting progress pictures as uh, Jason has built them or has posted them. Sorry, getting there. There we go. I should have just left it up. So the meltdown firebird, a uh, long, short story long here is uh, Jason has this car that everybody probably knows him for uh, the meltdown firebird there. He said he wanted to turn it into, and this is on a podcast last year said he wanted to turn it into more of a street car. It will be a big single turbo big block, uh, but it won't be as race car as what it was. He wants to drive it to cruise ends, wants to drive it around. He's had that car for a really, really long time. So obviously if you're going to build a street car, you still have to have a race car. And this car, I think, was a little heavier than what he wanted to do. And in the years that he's built this car, he has learned a ton of stuff about car building and things like that. So he wanted to build a car that was purpose built for racing and drag and drive stuff. So let me show you what he bought. He bought a third gen Firebird that was already a race car. Um, and st this is a picture I was going through this morning grabbing stuff and I actually shared a picture on Facebook. I'll go back and share it on Instagram here in just a little bit, but you can see internally here, it's still all GM sheet metal. Uh, they worked tirelessly that this picture when they pulled it in the shop was October 29th, 2021. And that was just as he had bought the car. Okay. So obviously we got some carnage here from before Tons of cool stuff. You can see they've got all the front end cut off and everything. This is a great shot of this. Now, this car was a race car. I mean, obviously, it's gutted, cage, all that kind of stuff. And that's why he bought it. But look at the sheet metal work and all the bar work and everything done here. You can't tell me that car is not way lighter than it was. So, obviously, he's using the Meltdown Firebirds big block um, as a base. We'll just run through these pictures here because I know you guys like like you guys like pictures how i like pictures um it, it starts getting crammed in there pretty pretty good this gives you kind of an idea here this was right before the dyno this is may 23rd so obviously five months five and a half months uh they completely changed all of the front end and uh and put all the motor back together and everything had to build new uh, headers and everything like that turbo headers turbo manifolds but you can see here, this is a great shot of the difference in the front end that they did. I, we've, like I said, we've been, I've been following this car the whole time. Uh, Central Speed Supply got him some super sweet Pro Street tires there. That doesn't take you back to, to a little bit of time ago. I don't know what does. Now look at these time slips. This is the first time at the track. Obviously, the motor and combo had been together before, but just not in this car. I mean, 780, 749, or 745, 7404, and 7676. Obviously, he's doing 1.0, so that's why I'm so interested in this car. And this is what it will look like on the trip. This is June 14th, so again, two days ago, the car is pulled out for uh, for final fitment of everything, tires and all that kind of stuff. This is drag and drive trim right here. This is how it will look on the trip unless he's done something in the last two days, which if he has, we'll see that uh, in the upcoming pictures. But again, guys, go follow the Meltdown Firebird. This car is so cool. Jason is a great dude. He's been on the Narcoleptic podcast a few different times talking about the stories of the 
the old the old meltdown firebird this is i mean we'll call it uh the fire meltdown firebird 2 i don't know so go over and follow that uh and see all of the experiences they have because obviously they haven't put that car together they haven't really been it hasn't been on a dragon drive they probably got a few street miles on it but not many um all right so poker mike here and this is my next uh com this is my next topic so we'll jump into it uh just a quick question i looked at the race chick list and alex taylor isn't on it just wondering why it really is i just didn't have her on there that's that is basically a list of names that were on Chad Reynolds post that I grabbed um, of females that had commented. So I just didn't have her. I don't have an official number yet. I don't have an official list of female racers for 1.0 yet because Matt and June obviously haven't done that because registration hasn't started. And if you guys have followed Dragon Drive for a while, you know, you don't ever uh, count the uh, eggs before the chickens hatch or however that phrase goes. I think I just said that wrong. Uh, chickens before the eggs hatch. Um, simply because people, they sometimes don't show up. Uh, I'm not saying that Alex Taylor's not showing up, but she will definitely be on that list based on what I've heard from her and Dennis both. They are getting ready to to head out. I would think tomorrow morning, uh, today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, be at the pre-party unless they're still working on the trailer or whatever. So I think the 55 is ready to go. But yes, uh, that leads us right into the Wicked Chick Award from Chad Reynolds and Adam uh, Hobson. Hold on. Uh, Cody Hansen. Sorry. It was way off there, uh, Cody Hansen. But first, I want to talk about two things. Uh, if you watched before Midwest Drags, we talked about Survive a Dragon Drive. That was a big deal leading up to that. I'm going to say it again for... Rocky Mountain Race Week, because now you have time to fix it. Guys, you have to have a horn. You have to have a horn. It has to work when you press a button. It Just just do the horn. Just get a horn, put it on, make it easy. Who cares how you hook it up? All you got to do is get through tech with a horn. Just horn, okay? Don't screw yourself up and take the time. Also, get with your insurance company today. Make sure you have a current insurance card. I'm looking right at you. You insur Current insurance card registration and obviously your driver's license things like that okay put them together put them in a ziploc bag put them in your glove box put them in the seat wherever you need to put them so you have them tape them to the dash so when you drive through tech you can literally rip here thank you hit your horn and be done uh, blinkers are a must blinkers on your trailer are a must i think yeah, blinkers on your trailer are a must. So figure all that out today, tonight, tomorrow, Friday night. Have it ready 100% Saturday morning. Matt Frost posted yesterday in the Rocky Mountain Race Weekers page, uh, Facebook group, which is RMRW, lowercase ERS. You'll have to ask to join. Post in there to make sure you bring a hoodie. Even though it's going to be 106 during the day, it will get to 50 degrees at night, sometimes in parts of Colorado. Obviously, you guys are going to be in the mountains. I'm so sad I'm not going. Uh, so make sure you take a hoodie with you. You know, if you were at Midwest Tracks, you know, or you pre-ordered your Dragon Drive Addiction hoodies, take one of them. We would love the support. Thank you very much. All right, guys, let's talk Wicked Chick Award. This is so cool. If you, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, Poker Mike is saying, uh, what a great Hot Wheels collection. This is this is a lot of fun. I'm a, tr a Hot Wheels truck guy. I'll just hit this real quick. I'm a Hot Wheels truck guy. So most of these are trucks. Um, and then I have a, about another 400 on the wall out in the shop uh, that are out there as well that aren't necessarily all trucks, just cool stuff that I like. Um, oh, hey, uh, Travis Watts says, do the video tech with Matt. That's super easy. So I uh, you'll need to message Matt Frost. I think you send a walk around video of your car with, you know, cage cert and all that kind of stuff to get pre-registered. That way, when you pull in, you just literally right through the lane. So, um, okay. Wicked Chick Award, Chad Reynolds, Cody Hansen. Uh, this is for any female racer. This was because of their wives uh, that passed from cancer. And uh, so basically I'm going to read the post that Chad put on Facebook. Uh, if you do not follow Chad Reynolds, it's a great follow. He is always sharing goofy, funny stuff and he hits a ton of races. So Wicked Chick Award, Chad Reynolds and Cody Hansen 
are so proud to be giving out the first Wicked Chick Award on Rocky Mountain Race Week 2022 and are so excited for all you female racers out there. When you get to Rocky Mountain Race Week for registration, you will be getting two Wicked Chick decals for your car, one to go on each side. In Kearney, you will be getting another giveaway surprise. The winner of the Wicked Chick Award will be getting a prize pack that includes cash, prizes, and a really bitchin' trophy, custom trophy. In addition, the winner will be getting a race chick racing fire suit made just for women. Uh, and if that isn't enough, Carrie Wilhoff, the owner of Race Chick, just sent a promo code that's good for 10% off uh, anything you order at racechick.com. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, this award and everything that goes into it, along with all that you ladies represent, mean a lot to Cody and I. We do this to honor those that remind us of our wonderful wives, Morgan and Daphne. Throughout the week, we ask that every one of you Wicked Chick participants use hashtag Wicked Chick in everything you post from Rocky Mountain Race Week, as well as hashtag Race Chick, hashtag Women and Wheels, and of course, hashtag RMRW or RMRW, <laughs> uh, female racers of RMRW uh, that I have found the list of. And again, I'll add this once, Chad or Cody, uh, make a list official. Uh, Carrie Watson, Rachel Crumley, Melissa Deckage. I probably just ruined that. Uh, Stevie Ellingson, Brooklyn, Danielle, Jeanette Desjardins, maybe Cassandra Gwynn, Kelly Hoff, Sarah Thorpe, uh, Janae Hammond, Jesse Werner, Jessica Werner, uh, Crystal Lum, Autumn Webner, Michaela Marietta, and of course, like we talked earlier, most likely Alex Taylor. I don't have her on the list, but uh, those are folks that I feel will be there, and uh, we are over our time. I want to say the Wicked Chick Award from Chad is so awesome. Um, Chad and Cody, that's a big deal. If you don't know their story, they've told it uh, in the past on some of the Bang Shift live streams. Go back and watch those. It is like, I'm not crying, you're crying type stuff. It's it's really a great thing, a great movement for them. And it's probably a great way for them to, uh, you know, kind of push forward and help the, uh, help all the, I don't know, help all the women, help themselves, you know, go through some of the, the heartache and stuff like that that is from losing your wife. So anyways, I'm going to stop there before I get all teared up. Um, I want to answer Poker Mike here. Yes, I am on Instagram, Dragon Drive. Obviously there, Rick Dodge, what's up, my brother? Yep, and uh, yeah, hey, dude, no problem. Listen, we are about to turn it up. I'm finally back home. I'm finally back in a rhythm. Uh, articles will be coming back out, write-ups and all that kind of stuff. So, guys, thank you so much again. I appreciate it. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, you know, what would really help us is to comment and share. So, all right, guys, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning, 7.45 a.m.